for our closing remarks on this Sunday. Each candidate will have one minute, and we start with Lieutenant Governor Casey Cagle. Well, thank you all very much for joining us today. It's a great honor to serve as your lieutenant governor, but more importantly, it's an honor to talk about really my vision for the state, adding 500,000 jobs in the first four years of my administration, continuing to build on the historic tax cut that we have done here in our great state, but along with that, building a world-class workforce that is second to none, transforming that junior and senior year so individuals have an opportunity to have a good-paying job as they come out of high school, giving them a huge value-added proposition. But within that context, you have a decision to make. Who is the consistent conservative leader that has made Georgia the number one place to do business in five years in a row? I am that person, and I promise, as your next governor, I will not waver on our conservative values. I will continue to forge ahead so all of us can be proud of the great state that we have, where we can live here, work, and raise our families to where our values continue to be strong, but also our economy as well. Thank you. Senator Hill. I'm Hunter Hill, and you all have a very important choice as the voters over the next couple of days. Who truly believes in the values and principles that made our country great? Our, our vision is about true conservative leadership. So it's two things. Number one, who truly believes in it? I fought in three combat tours in Iraq and Afghanistan, so I've put my life on the line to defend these values and principles. But secondly, it's more important than that. It's not about talk. Who has the leadership experience to get these ideas and principles implemented into policy? And I'm the only candidate on the race, uh, candidate in this race that has the diversity of leadership experience. I've run a small business. I have uh, fought for our values and principles as a state senator, and I've fought uh, overseas in Afghanistan and Iraq. So it's about leadership, moving a diverse group of people of, uh, towards a common goal. That's what I will do as your governor. I would be very grateful for your support. Uh, you can visit us at VoteHunterHill.com. But I want to take this fight to career politician Casey Cagle over the next nine weeks in this runoff, and I would be very grateful for your support to be able to do that. Thank you so much. Mr. Tippins. I entered this race to become governor because I saw a field with 50 years of combined political experience that failed to address some hard problems. Our teacher pension fund is $4 billion underfunded. That happened on their watch. We became the number one sex trafficking place in the United States of America, an evil like no other in this country. That happened on their watch. When you have 50 years of combined political experience, I'll tell you what you get. 10 years running for office, get you someone that I believe will say anything to get elected. 16 years in public office, get you someone to release 7 million social security numbers. And 28 years in office, get you someone that's bought and paid for. I became a Navy SEAL because it mattered. And I took the same unconventional problem solving and whatever it takes approach and built businesses. Now, I want to bring that same skill set to self-serving politicians to get different outcomes, crush sex trafficking, cut our spending and our taxes, fix our traffic and build more roads, and get our kids reading. I believe we can do that. I can do that as your leader. Stand with me. It matters. Senator Williams. My name is Michael Williams, and I am the only candidate up here that truly supports and understands what Donald Trump is doing. I was the only person up here fighting for our president when it mattered during campaign season. I was the state co-chair for the Georgia Trump campaign. I was a surrogate for him, traveling across the country. I, like Donald Trump, am the only candidate up here that is primarily self-funding my own campaign. All these guys to my left, they know all the right things to say. They talk about career politicians. They talk about the establishment. Yet every single one of them is getting their money from the same places. Again, I am the only person self-funding so I can represent you. I will cut your taxes, I will deport illegal immigration, and I will destroy the corrupt establishment. I'll bring transparency to government so that we can be proud of our government because it's representing us, not the special interest, and I commit that to you as your governor, and I need your help to do it. When you go out and vote on Tuesday, please bring five, ten of your friends so that I can take on Casey Cagle head on and win this election. Thank you. Secretary Kemp. I'm Brian Kemp. Uh, as I said earlier, I'm a husband, I'm a father. I've been a conservative small businessman for over 30 years, and I'm an unapologetic conservative. I've got a record of fighting and winning in the private sector when I was in the legislature and currently as Secretary of State. Sued the Obama Justice Department twice to implement our citizenship check when we register someone to vote and to defend our common sense photo ID laws. I've stood up to the left. I haven't wavered. And to me, 
this race is about who you trust. Who do you trust to put Georgians first, ahead of the special interest, the status quo, the politically correct, and those that are here illegally? People across this state are frustrated that they feel like they don't have someone fighting for them. That is what our message in this campaign is about, putting Georgians first. If you will support me on May 22nd, I promise I will do that each and every day, just like I've done in the past. Thank you so much. God bless.